This piece of equipment is a major part of his life. With it, he's become one of the world's top sportsmen with a disability, and his mobility has been greatly enhanced. Martin Braxenthaler and his ski. Or to be more precise, his monoski. Going up the mountain with the lift and then skiing down the pistes with the monoski, whether in training, in a race or just as a normal mainstream skier, is a fantastic experience. And it gives me back a lot of what I originally thought had been taken away, being able to experience nature, the mountains and the winter in a positive, natural way. And this experience has been part of the German's life for 14 years now, since fracturing his spine in an accident at work. Just three years later, he was already skiing for the national team. He's his own hardest taskmaster. A look into the world of Martin Braxenthaler. A monoski's got to fit as well as skiing boots do for a normal skier. If the seat is too big, then you slide around. You've got no grip. You can't transfer power properly, and you can't take the corners as vigorously as you'd have possibly liked to. Normal skiers smooth out all the bumps with their knees or from the thighs and pelvis area. In our case, of course, we need the help of our shock absorbers, and we're operating here in real high-tech area. They're shock absorber elements like they use in motocross. Martin Braxenthaler has to be able to rely on his equipment supplier at all times. It's the only way to success. United, they're strong. I think both of us appreciate the arrangement and it's developed into a good, valuable and successful partnership. And I'm sure it'll also stay that way for some time. Whenever his ski is being fine-tuned, the trained mechanic is usually on hand, giving advice to his colleagues and sometimes helping out with the required tricks. A man passionate about his calling. Competition day, alone with his thoughts and his monoski. His task now, to deliver a top performance right on cue. Success can only materialize later if all preparations are completed 100%. You make sure that you're at the start around 20 minutes ahead of time and then find a quiet corner and focus yourself again. You get warm and limber up a bit and just make sure that you're fully concentrated. Then you try to put all your energy into it. As he did in Turin in 2006, after failure in the first competition, the 37-year-old kept his nerve and pulled out all the stops winning gold in the Super G, Giant Slalom and Slalom, making him the best German Paralympian at those Winter Games. The secret of his success? If things don't go well in the first event at a major meeting, to take the positives from it and then go back to the start confident and sure of yourself and perhaps to have the ability to take the positives from a defeat or a supposed defeat and to come away from it even stronger. Combined with discipline and talent, it's precisely situations and experiences like these that make Martin Braxenthaler so good. In Whistler, Canada in 2009, he won his eighth World Cup. The dress rehearsal for the upcoming Paralympics had thus gone well. My target for Vancouver 2010 is to be amongst the medals again. Martin Braxenthaler, in his sport, he's achieved it all. And for him, at the 2010 Paralympic Games in Vancouver, everything revolves once again around gold.